the next two years, the Media Education Lab is going to be um, really trying to reach out to as many computer centers that are being developed by the Freedom Rings Initiative as possible to offer training and support um, for people that are running these centers, that are educating thousands of people about how to best use the internet and computers. Um, we're going to be offering our support, our consulting, our um, ideas that we've been developing for a decade um, in order to help uh, neighborhood site leaders. You know, these are just people from the neighborhood. They're going to come in and run these, these multiple computer sites all around uh, Philadelphia. And we would love to play a role in helping um, develop curriculum, help uh, better teach people how to best navigate the internet. And the city of Philadelphia is proud to partner with the Urban Affairs Coalition and many, many other partners. This issue about digital inclusion or the digital divide, uh, digital deserts, is very, very important. Access to information really is the fun really are the fundamentals about education. If you don't have any information, it's hard to know what in the world is going on, literally a block or two away from your house, let alone around the world. Computer is your passport, not only to the future, uh, but to seeing what's going on around you. I'm Renee Hobbs at Temple University. Okay. I just want to make a little make video a for my okay, students. No problem. Uh, can you What's your name and what are you doing here today? I'm Kevin Williams. I work for the PNC Bank. Um, I'm volunteering. I'm just trying to help refurbish um, some computers. Um, honestly, I'm just following the instructions of my uh, assistant or my instructor right here. Here, right? There. Yeah. And so, so he's going to follow your instructions. What's yes. the plan today? Right now, we're going to. Um, we already took the hard drives and the RAM out. So we're going to put the new hard drives that are already um, cleaned out and put them in the computers. And then we're going to refurbish the whole computer so that they can use again. Wow, so each one of these computers is going to get a new hard drive. A new hard drive, hard new drive. RAM, everything. Wow, now what about application software? That'll be not done today? Or? Not today, but eventually it'll be installed. And then where will these computers go? Um, To different students at different schools who don't have computers to use. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about like what you do, how you got here, where you're, what's your background? Well, my students who might want to have your job when they grow up? Well, right now I attend Youthville Charter School and my vocation is information technology and business. And what we do is we learn how to refurbish the computers, take them apart, clean them out, and make them so that, you know, other students can use them. Are you telling me you're still in high school? Yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's, That's great. Awesome. Yes. All right, so to make it look like you're doing work here, I'll make some, uh, take some pictures of that. That's so cool. All right, so what if, all right, she said it's going to go here? Yes, she said that it goes in that section over there. So, is it a slide that you like? Hey, Dan. We're fired. Uh, it feels very different, you know. It's extremely awkward. I never know what's inside of it, and I just use it, you know. So. Okay, so you see the gray and green um, strips? Yeah. You can take those and you put it in here. Okay. Make sure you put it in snug. You might have to turn it around the other way. I'm not sure. You just make sure it fits you. Right here. Attention right now. Is it straight just like this? Everyone, 